It takes speed, concentration, and skill to be a race car driver. And this weekend, you can see them compete on a track in West Fargo. Showing us more from the track is the Valley Today's Christy Larson. She joins us live this morning. And uh, you're out, out of the car now. Earlier, you were in a race car. Well, I decided to sit in it just to see what it would feel like, but now I'm outside of it because uh, this is actually the car's driver. This is Taylor. And so let's just kind of talk about, you've only been doing it for three years. This is your second car though. Right, right. Uh, I started in a Mod 4 to begin with, um, broke a finger in the car, decided to all of a sudden just sell the car because the class wasn't going to be there the next year. And then we picked up this car and I'm loving the V8 power. And so let's talk about how you got into racing. You said it actually started with a bet from a friend. <laughs> yeah, it started as a bet. Uh, I asked him one time if I could, you know, drive his car just for fun at practice. And he goes, no, it's too much of a handful. Uh, he goes, I'd struggle with two hands. I don't think you could do it with one. You had to go there. Because then I bought my first car that September. Uh, the next year we were racing. And so you just mentioned it. You have one arm. You lost your other arm in an accident back when you were two, but that hasn't stopped you from being a daredevil almost. <laughs> no, it makes no difference with this car. Yeah. And so let's talk about when you climb in there, what's kind of going through your mind for the races? I just, I really just want to hold my line and make sure I don't mess up another car. There's always guys that are here that are faster than me. And I know that, you know, still want to go out and be as fast as I can, but still want to hold my lines and respect them too when they come around. And what about tonight? What's going to be kind of the strategy? Because I know you said last night you kind of got a feeling of the track, especially when it's a little bit more wet like it is this morning. Uh, it's hard to say what tonight's going to be like. Uh, we got a little more rain here last night, and I don't know. Hopefully the tires hold for the night, and we can go down and race and not mess up. And for someone who is a little bit newer as a driver to racing, why would you encourage people to come out and watch all the different heats that happen? Oh, it's a, it's a fun track. I mean, th this track is very racy. Um, even the sport mods are, you know, three, four cars wide at finish lines. It, it's, it's a seriously fun track to watch and race at. Yeah, and everything kicks off tonight at 7 o'clock. And again, guys, we're, Lisa, you know, it's one of those things where you want to come, you cheer them on. There's a lot of different races that happen, and they average about 80 cars a night. So you can come out. Pick your favorite driver. Maybe it's based on a clown on the car. Did you see this earlier? There's a big cl scary clown. I might have to cheer him on just because I'm scared of the clown. <laughs> Good stuff and fun for the whole family. Maybe the kids will be a little scared of the clown, but maybe not. Christy Larson reporting live for us this morning. Thank you.